crisis of the moment. You're, you're in the middle of the moment. You're in the center of the moment. Understand this, the season of the now. Understand when you see the word now, it means that, the, that this is the time for action. God said, I'm getting ready to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Now is a time for action. Now means in the in the time, oh God, in the time immediately before the present. I better leave that alone. Now means in the time immediately before the present. In the end, when you are in a battle, somebody has got to win. Let it be you. Let it be you that win. Let the devil know I'm in this for the long haul. Let the devil know I'm not going to allow you to defeat me in this because I've been through too much. I'm waiting on the promise. I'm waiting on the manifestation. I'm waiting on what God has promised. You didn't even know that when you got up this morning that the seasons had already shifted. You did not know that the seasons have shifted in your direction. You did not know that this was a special hour and this was a special time. No, it's not just another Sunday. It is a special Sunday. It is an opportune Sunday. It is a perfect day for God to do something phenomenal in your life. Understand that it doesn't matter what's going on. I still know this. God is in control. And at any moment, at any minute, when God decides to move me out of this season to the next season, nothing can hinder that and nothing can stop me from getting to my next season. Waiting is not easy. But understand this, the songwriter says, you can't hurry God. No, you just have to wait. Nobody wants to wait. Come on, talk to me somebody. Understand that when God have you waiting, he doesn't have you waiting so you can just stand there and complain. He wants you to be praising him while you're waiting. Because see, you got to understand that while I'm waiting, God can see my faithfulness while I'm waiting. Hello, God can turn this thing around while I'm waiting. He could be giving me a fresh anointing while I'm waiting. I need to wait with some patience. See, when you're, when you're in your season of waiting, is there anybody here today that feels like you have been in your season of waiting? What are you waiting for? You're waiting for the circumstances to change. You're waiting for something to be completed. You're waiting on your purpose. You're, you're, you're waiting. You understand sometimes your waiting can be quite difficult. Come on, but understand this. You got to hold fast to this. You got to get through this season because God has not forgotten you. Understand this while you're waiting. Oh, I feel something. While you're waiting, he's planning. Understand that God has been planning for you. Tell somebody what I just said. Understand he's been planning. He's been planning this. Understand he's been pruning you. Uh-huh. He's getting rid. He's getting rid. Uh-huh. He's getting rid of what is not needed for the next level. See, there's some things that's with you that's not needed for the next level. There's some things that's in you that's not needed for the next level. So he has to do some pruning. Come on here. He has to do some pruning and understand that you have always been on God's schedule. Understand that you've always been on God's calendar. Come on, it's all about it. It's a timing issue. It's a timing issue. But God sent me here today to tell you. Yes, to tell you what? To tell you this again. You are in the presence of the moment. You don't have to look for the moment. You don't have to worry if the moment is going to come. You're already in the presence of the moment. All you got to do is stand still and see the sound salvation of the Lord that's about to be a breakthrough that's about to be a release you said I heard that before well you need to hear it again you need to understand baby that it's your season understand that this is your time and in a true moment you're gonna see the hand of God moving in your direction prophet sucks can you really tell me what's going on yes I can he's making you ready oh He's making you ready. Touch somebody and tell them, okay, God is making me ready. 
so let him work let him work let him work stop trying to interfere with his business he's making you ready he's getting you ready for this he's getting you ready for this season why because things are not gonna knock you back this time things are not gonna distract you this time no this time you're going all the way this time you're not gonna fall down on the mountainside this time you're going all the way to the mountaintop come on say praise the Lord this time you're not gonna get left behind this time this time you're not gonna step out of his will this time you're not gonna step out of his plan you on your way to the top and he said when you get to the top you'll never have to come back to the bottom so he's making you ready I wish I had somebody to turn to somebody and tell them that God is making me ready you are in the present of the moment you are in the present the present of the moment tell somebody what I just said which means that you are in the season of the now so I, I knew y'all were going to get it I knew you was going to get it you are in the present of the moment which means you are in the season of the now understand that it is a time for everything. That's what the book says. It's a time for everything. So since it's a time for everything. I'm in the season of the now. MCC understand this. The Lord is bringing you into a new season of blessings. Everybody that's sitting in here today, this prophetic word is for you. The Lord is bringing you into a new season of blessings. Understand that in this new season of blessings, there is going to be an abundance. You may have experienced many difficult and fearful and dangerous experiences in the wilderness to teach you obedience and faith. You may have gone through a season of lack and mere survival. You may have lived in the wilderness experience of having just enough and barely getting through. But the Lord is bringing you out of the wilderness into a season of abundance and overflow where you will have more than enough to meet your needs and you're going to have plenty left over to share with others who are in need. I don't think you heard what I said so I'll move on. King Solomon, Solomon reminds us of the importance, understand this, King Solomon reminds us of the importance of God's special times and seasons. We need to begin to understand and recognize God's special times and seasons. Understand that this is a special season for you. Not only is this a special season for you, it is also a special time for you. So if I was you, I will begin to get excited. There's a right time for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, This is an opportune time to do things. <laughs> this is an opportune time to do things. What I need everybody today to do, I need you to start having visions right now. What I need everybody to do today, I need you to start dreaming right now. I 
need you to see yourself. I need you to see yourself having more than you ever had. I need you to see yourself going places. I need you to see yourself doing things. I need you to see yourself having your heart's desires. I need you to see yourself living in an abundance. I need you to see yourself walking in the blessings of the Lord. Do I have any help in here? There's an opportune time to do things. There's a, there's a right time for everything on the earth. So God is saying, pay attention. Pay attention. This is a special season for you. Pay attention. This is a special time for you. This time will not be like any other time. This season will not be like any other season. This is a special season and a special time. And I need you to pay attention. Time to plant. Time to harvest. You didn't hear me. A time to plant. A time to harvest. I understand the psalmist talks about this very thing. He says, uh, Psalm 126, 4 through 6, Restore our fortunes, Lord, as streams renew the desert. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep, they weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. Understand, understand when I said the season of the now, you are in the presence of the moment. And you, you understand, the, the, the moment that's happening now, you are in the presence of the moment. You're, you're in the middle of the moment. You're in the center of the moment. Understand this. The season of the now. What am I talking about the season of the now? Now means, now means the present. Now means this moment. Tell somebody God says this moment. The present. Huh. So I won't make this difficult for you. I won't make it any difficult for you. But now is understand when you see the word now, it means that the, that this is the time for action. God said, "I'm getting ready to show you something. I'm going to show you something." Now is a time for action. Now means in the in the time. Oh God, in the time immediately before the present. I better leave that alone. Now now means in the time immediately before the present. In the immediate before the present. Tell somebody I am in the immediately before the present. Understand this. Understand this. Just know this. Know this. Know this. That in every battle. In every battle. I want everybody to understand this. In every battle there is an end. In every battle, there is an end. You, you, you probably have not seen yourself coming out of it. But I want you to understand something. It doesn't matter how many years you've been going through this. It doesn't matter how much time is, is you, you've been in it. Understand that there is an end. There, there comes an end. Understand. In the end, when you are in a battle, somebody has got to win. Let it be you. Let it be you that win. Let the devil know. I'm in this for the long haul. Let the devil know I'm not going to allow you to defeat me in this because I've been through too much. I'm waiting on the promise. I'm waiting on the manifestation. I'm waiting on what God has promised me. Do I have any help in here today? You're not ready for this. If you were to examine your current situation or the season in your life right now, what would you say? If you were to examine your current situation and the season that you're in right now, what would you say? Think about it for a moment. Would you say that, would you say that, well, would you say that, well, it seems like right now I'm just in a dry season right now. Or would you say, uh, I am in a season uh, between 
the blessings. I, 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 I'm, in a, I'm in a season between the blessings. Understand this, if we use our natural sense, we know that seasons change, right? We, we, we know that by today. Come on. We know that. If you don't know it, you'll know it tonight. When it's 60 degrees outside, it's a little chilly on the outside. So what are you saying, babies? Listen, it, it, summer is over. I know we summer, it, it feels like it's still summertime, but now it's not the time to be wearing flip-flaps and, and all that kind of stuff. Now it's not the time to walk out in 60-something degrees and the short sleeves on. Come on, come on. Because we understand that the season is beginning to change. I'm starting to notice that at night, my air condition don't come on as frequently as it was coming on. Why? Because it's chilly on the outside. So we understand. We understand that uh, we understand that, that summer. So understand, you heard me say this before. When summer comes, understand that fall is talking to summer. Fall tells summer, summer. Let me talk to you for a minute. Summer, you need to go ahead and do whatever you're going to do because I'm ready to come in. I'm ready to come in. I've, I've been sitting back all year long watching you. I've been watching you summer. I've been watching spring and I've been watching winter. But it's my turn. Seems like I'm down at the end of the year. Seems like all the other seasons are up front before me and I'm down at the end. See, you know how to identify the seasons. And then this time of the year when the trees began to change and the leaves began to blow off the trees and the pecans hit you in the head. Oh, you know, I, I'm, I'm in that, I'm going, we're going in that winter season because it's starting to get chilly now. The grass has stopped growing. You call the grass man. So they don't need you coming to cut the grass. It's not even growing anymore. So the frost doesn't hit it. Why? Because it's season. So you understand that winter. You understand that there's summer. You understand that there's spring. And you understand there's fall. But then there's another season. There's a fifth season that's called due season. And that means everything that God has promised me is coming to me in due season. So I have to ask you today, if this is not the right time, can you tell me when? If this is not the right moment, can you tell me when? I told you there's a time for everything and this is the most opportune time for you to get your miracle this is the most opportune time for you to get your breakthrough this is the season the problem is you don't recognize the season you got a cold in October your nose running in October You have the flu in October. You, 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 you don't know how to identify the seasons. So I'm looking at you, some of you right now, and I know right now if it falls a 40 or 50, you still not going to change your dress code. Well, I'm in the car, but you got to get out of the car. It ain't like you staying in the car. You got to get out of the car. And the first thing you say is, I don't want to be dragging around all these clothes weighing me down. Well, would you rather that the clothes wear you down or the hospital wear you down? Huh, hello, hello. Because we don't identify the seasons. Understand this. Understand this. So understand something about right now. Understand something about today's message. Understand that the Bible says, yet God has made everything beautiful in or for its own time. Understand this, ladies and gentlemen, that God is in control of the seasons. Tell somebody what I just said. God is in control of, not only is he in control of the season, he is in control of all seasons. Hello, hello. 
So it is important for you to recognize that from the start. Understand this. Don't act like God don't know what's going on with you. God knows and God is aware of what's going on with you. But what he needs you to understand, he needs you to recognize from the very start that he is in control of all seasons. He is the one that causes things to happen. Come on. He is the one that causes the seasons to shift. And you didn't even know this today. You didn't even know that when you got up this morning that the seasons had already shifted. You did not know that the seasons have shifted in your direction. You did not know that this was a special hour and this was a special time. No, it's not just another Sunday. It is a special Sunday. It is an opportune Sunday. It is a perfect day for God to do something phenomenal in your life. I wish somebody would clap your hands and praise the Lord. See, you have to understand that, that no matter what season you are in at the present time, you got to learn how to make everything beautiful for its time. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Did you hear what I said? You got to learn how to make everything beautiful for its time. You got to understand and learn how to give thanks. In everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you. Understand that it doesn't matter what's going on. I still know this. God is in control. And at any moment, at any minute, when God decides to move me out of this season to the next season, Nothing can hinder that and nothing can stop me from getting to my next season. Let me go on a bit further. I want everybody to understand this. I understand it. I want you to understand it. Waiting is not easy. Tell somebody what I just said. Waiting is not easy. You know, it seems like when you, you're waiting for a phone call, you will sit there all day. When, when they going to call? I've been waiting all day. When, when they going to call? Uh, it seems like when you sometimes you order something, and when you're not looking for it, they bring it early and leave it on the porch. And the day that you're looking for it, it seems like it's never going to come. Anybody know the thing about that? Waiting is not easy. See, when God tells you that he's going to do something, he, he don't tell you how long it's going to take him to do it. Ain't nobody said that. He just tells you he's going to do it. Waiting is not easy. But understand this. The songwriter says, you can't hurry God. No, you just have to wait. Nobody wants to wait. Come on, talk to me somebody. Understand that when God have you waiting, he doesn't have you waiting so you can just stand there and complain. He wants you to be praising him while you're waiting. Because see, you got to understand that while I'm waiting, God can see my faithfulness. While I'm waiting, hello, God can turn this thing around. While I'm waiting, he could could be giving me a fresh anointing while I'm waiting. I need to wait with some patience. See, when you're when you're in your season of waiting, is there anybody here today that feels like you have been in your season of waiting? What are you waiting for? You're waiting for the circumstances to change. You're waiting for something to be completed. You're waiting on your purpose. You're, you're, you're waiting. You understand, sometimes your waiting can be quite difficult. Come on, but understand this. You got to hold fast to this. You got to get through this season because God has not forgotten you. Understand this. While you're waiting. Oh, I feel something. While you're waiting, he's planning. Understand that God has been planning for you. Tell somebody what I just said. Understand he's 
been planning. He's been planning this. Understand, he's been pruning you. Uh huh. He's getting rid. He's getting rid. Uh huh. He's getting rid of what is not needed for the next level. See, there's some things that's with you that's not needed for the next level. There's some things that's in you that's not needed for the next level. So he has to do some pruning. Come on here. He has to do some pruning and understand that you have always been on God's schedule. Understand that you've always been on God's calendar. Come on. It's all about it. It's a timing issue. It's a timing issue. But God sent me here today to tell you. Yes, to tell you what? To tell you this again. You are in the presence of the moment. You don't have to look for the moment. You don't have to worry if the moment is going to come. You are already in the presence of the moment. All you got to do is stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. There's about to be a breakthrough. That's about to be a release. You said, I heard that before. Well, you need to hear it again. You need to understand, baby, that it's your season. Understand that this is your time. And in a few moment, you're going to see the hand of God moving in your direction. Somebody ought to lift your hands up now. And somebody ought to begin to praise the Lord. Understand. Prophet Suggs, can you really tell me what's going on? Yes, I can. He's making you ready. Oh, he's making you ready. Touch somebody and tell them, okay, God is making me ready. So let him work. Let him work. Let him work. Stop trying to interfere with his business. He's making you ready. He's getting you ready for this. He's getting you ready for this season. Why? Because things are not going to knock you back this time. Things are not going to distract you this time. No, this time you're going all the way. This time you're not going to fall down on the mountainside. This time you're going all the way to the mountaintop. Come on, say praise the Lord. This time you're not going to get left behind this time. This time you're not going to step out of his will. This time you're not going to step out of his plan. you on your way to the top. And he said when you get to the top, you'll never have to come back to the bottom. So he's making you ready. I wish I had somebody to turn to somebody and tell them that God is making me ready. King David cried out to God. David cried out to God in Psalm 5 and 3. And David said, listen to my voice in the morning. Each morning, I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. Understand that God is listening and knows exactly where you are. Understand this. If you are going through hard times in this season, know that God is with you and he's right there in the middle of it all. Understand this, that God is totally at work. I understand this. I understand that it's hard when you are in the middle of it. And you might not even understand what you're going through or why you're going through. But I want to encourage somebody here today that God knows and in due time all will be revealed. In the meantime, don't give up or get tired of doing his good work. How many of you hear me? You're in the presence of the moment. What you have been looking for is here. What you've been seeking is here. What you've been desiring is here. You are in the presence of the moment.